Hey, it's Chris back with another awesome innovation. And I want to talk about my preferred favorite day backpack for traveling. And I use this uh, even every day when I'm not traveling and I need to bring some stuff with me. Um, for trips, I used to bring a packable backpack, something that would compress down to a very small size and have that as a backup for daily excursions to carry water bottle, phone, um, just things that you want to have with you throughout the day. And I would have something like this bag. This is just an example, not picking out an Oakley, but this bag uh, packs down into the size of smaller than your fist. And uh, as you can see, this one's filled with stuff right now because I use it for storage. And this is an example of uh, the problem that I find with these types of bags. Even if you have something as simple like a water bottle and it's uh, laying in here in an awkward fashion against your back, there is no structure within this. So you will feel every single lump and bulge within this against your back. And after a couple hours, uh, you're gonna get tired from just having to support this against your back uh, because there is no structure within this. You are providing the entire support of the packable backpack yourself. And so I got tired of uh, these types of bags and I went back to a traditional bag. And then I stumbled upon my new favorite. And this is the Climate stash 18, 18 liters. So pretty good mid-sized backpack and it's not packable. So it doesn't compress down um, to, to that ultra small size. But I, what I like to do is uh, it lies flat pretty nicely. And so just put this as a top layer inside luggage and close your luggage and it'll fit right in there. Now the difference with this bag uh, this company you might have seen at Costco, they make air mattresses for camping and, and other outdoor related items, but um, their key to around a lot of their products is around that uh, inflation. So it's a pillow, it's a mattress. In this bag, there is an airframe. That's what they call. You can see this ribbing inside and it has this pump. So this is the least packable part. This is a, a ball pump here that, that will be um, a little bit, will take up a little bit more space within your bag. But if you remember the Reebok pump shoes that would inflate those shoes, this is the exact same thing for this airframe. And there's a release valve right above here as well. So you can let the air out. But as I pump this up, you have the uh, mini air mattress here inflating and this provides really good support. And so all those things in the bag that might be rubbing up against your backside throughout the day, it's your back's protected by this frame here. And so it makes it really comfortable. Um, you don't feel the fatigue throughout the day for having those items against your back. They're protected by this layer of air. And the other benefit that they um, have for this, at least if the bag is empty, you can sit on this. And so for that tripod setup that I showed in a previous video, I have all the tripod stuff in here. After I set up the tripod, this bag is empty. And then I'll sit on this on the stadium stands. And that's a nice added bonus to have a more comfortable seat cushion uh, from your bag. And then you don't have to watch your bag to, to make sure someone doesn't walk off with it. So this is my uh, favorite bag for when you need in a pinch, something that's very lightweight, something that packs pretty easily, although not as easy as a compressor, uh, packable backpack. This gets pretty close, has the added feature of the airframe. I know these are available on Amazon, I think they're about $60. Uh, but if you search some of the uh, discount sites, I originally found this on Woot, which is ironically also owned by Amazon. And I think it was about $20 on sale. And so I grabbed this one. I liked it so much. 
I found another one on Macari and uh, that one was $17, including shipping. And so you can find these around for a pretty good price um, on, on some of the uh, secondhand websites. So that's my recommendation, the Climate Stash 18 for a uh, more comfortable, lightweight travel. Thanks, everyone. Until next time.